Once the jewels of New York's skyline, the World Trade Center towers stood up against terrorism long enough to save countless lives. The plane came through, it took out a few of the exterior columns of the building and then set off this massive fire with the jet fuel. And fortunately, because of the perimeter tube system of the building, it was able to withstand the initial impact and allow a lot of people to get out. Other buildings would have toppled immediately, but the towers remained upright for nearly an hour, supported on the outside by closely spaced steel columns and struts, and on the inside by a second set of columns designed to bear the load of gravity, a double support system that withstood the crash, but not the raging jet fuel fire. The, the girders or the joists that hold up the floors collapsed, and as those fell to the floor below, they overwhelmed the capacity of that floor and we, we, we had it was what we call a progressive collapse which then continued on through the base of the building until there uh, it was a complete and total failure. Most experts say tall buildings will continue to be made out of steel. What may change they say is the design of signature skyscrapers the tallest and most exposed buildings. They may never be built in quite the same way.